It was definitely Ricky Fowler's day at the Honda Classic Saturday, and the fans were loving it. Just one shot off the lead heading into round three. Fowler may have only been able to move up two spots, but he sure made the most of moving day. They say it can be even harder to win at home. Well, this Jupiter resident looks pretty comfortable at PGA National. Try and work this left to right. Great, exactly what it does. It's got to hang on just a fraction, just right of the hole. Oh, it's a wonderful shot. Home field advantage, you take whatever you can get at the bear trap, and Fowler went on the attack on 16. This birdie putt may have only been from 10 feet, but it was huge, putting him up three strokes as 36-hole leader Wesley Bryant went bogey, double bogey, just one group behind. And boom, Fowler was jacked up coming in on 18. All 150 pounds of him just straight launched it 340 yards. Oh man. And it got it. And that so is... the pound for pound Ricky Fowler, second longest driver, delivers another Let's boomer. See. What can we say? When you're on, you're on. Cutting back toward the hole, perfectly positioned. Just over the collar. Wow, made it by about a foot. Wow, that was awesomely close. Remember Ricky's last win in Florida? Yep, the 2015 Players' Championship. It was awesome. And if history is any indication, maybe we're in for a show on Sunday, especially if it's going to be as windy as they say it is. Fowler was grouped with Anurban Lahiri, who also lives in South Florida, and gave us this highlight earlier in the round on 12. And played it to perfection. Man, he made that look easy. <laughs> you wouldn't know it from those guys, but more often than not, golf is hard, and sprinkler heads are pretty hard too. One rerouted Ryan Brem's tee shot over the grandstands on 15 and into the water. That is about as bad a break as you can get. Speaking of water, remember this from Friday. Stephanie went down to his underwear yesterday uh, and almost made an all-world par. Uh, yeah, Ben Crane decided to get risky or not, depending on how you look at it. Ben could not be wearing a worse outfit for this shot. He kept his clothes on and didn't get a spot on them at all. I have a feeling this is going to be a stellar finish, guys. Catch all the final round action on PGA Tour Live starting at 9 a.m. Eastern Time on Sunday, and I'll see you Monday for Trending on Tour.